Uh, I joined Speed on 2023 November. So mainly, I tried doing all the test series questions and all. They were very helpful. So my husband was also taking Speed only calls, asked in previous year all analysis, the trials and all. Uh, mainly from that part was much more helpful to me. Dr. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute uh, to Thank Dr. Saumi Banerjee for scoring a topmost rank of AML rank number two in the superficiality of MCH Gynec Oncology. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great. Doctor, can we know uh, your background from where you started till date, what all you have done? I did my MBBS from Badwar Medical College in West Bengal. And uh, then I uh, did my uh, post graduation from Ajikar Medical College in Kolkata. I passed out in year 21. I did a year of uh, SR ship. We have three years of bond posting over there. So uh, I was doing my bond. Meanwhile, uh, I did a year of fellowship in Gaini Onko. I was doing the fellowship. I passed out the, I completed the fellowship in February 24. And then I appeared for AIMS. And uh, this was my first attempt in AIMS. So, wow. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, <laughs> actually, I thought AIMS is very difficult. It's not my cup of tea. So I never had the guts to appear for AIMS. So somehow after doing fellowship, I have, I have ex I gathered experience about the subject. So now I thought that I could appear, uh, prepare for once and just appear for it. So, now, now it's a cup of tea. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Luckily, it happens. <laughs> no, it is. It is a cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Happened. No. You achieved it. I think you should believe it. Yeah, maybe. It's still, still now, actually, I, I was not able to accept that. <laughs> Everybody has now started congratulating me. I'm giving interviews. So now it's like, I'm okay. I am into this. Okay. I used to see interviews of all the achievers, and I was like, wait, when I can give interview, when, I, when it's going to be my turn to it's talk turn. to you. <laughs> now it, it's your turn now. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Great, doctor. Now, uh, I mean, what did you do from your fellowship to achieve this MCH Gynec Oncology second rank? What all you worked? How did you work and to make it up? Fellowship, sir, gave me an extra edge, what I feel, because uh, I, seeing patients is also very important uh, because many questions, doing OT is there, getting good exposure, and day-to-day uh, -day dealing with all the ovarian cancer, viral cancer, now all the cancers we used to get because in MS time, we don't have much exposure to oncology in our residency days, we very few patients we used to get. But uh, if you're doing fellowship for one and a half years over there, I was regularly interacting with oncology patients. I was seeing patients. I was attending OTs. I was doing OT myself. So uh, under, after uh, being there practically, when you start studying, it's much more easier to grasp things. You can easily get into it. You can solve MCQs based on instrument questions. You know, you have used, used those instruments. We hardly use those instruments in MS, but we have used that. Like this, uh, for example, for uh, a few questions on anatomy and all, we have a good idea because radical, radical surgeries, we are doing it regularly over uh, during my fellowship. We used to do. So uh, it has helped me much more practically to uh, achieve AIMS. And uh, during our fellowship, I used to read those guides. After fellowship, I mainly started preparing for INISS for, from, from February onwards. So it was a three months of preparation. I, uh, I did all the guidelines mainly, all uh, PIGO, PESGO guidelines. NCCN, I haven't done much, but uh, uh, only a footnotes, few tables, because NCCN is vast. It's not possible to remember. So mainly the guidelines and uh, yeah, uh, the MCQs and the question answer that was discussed by Revati Ma'am about all those uh, 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 cancers and oncologies, uh, that they are based on the most recent guidelines. So that was also an important part in my preparation. So how did you join Speed? I mean, who recommended uh, from take uh, I joined Speed on 23, uh, 2023 November. Okay, I mean, uh, who recommended? I took a, took, took a year. Uh, my, uh, my seniors, my friends, lot, lot, they're take, taking to my husband was also uh, taking Speed only. He, uh, he's now in a PDT resident over here. So from him only, I thought of who, who, Who's that? Who's that? No, he got a son, Clara. He's uh, Dr. Pierre. She's like, he's now in second year uh, PDT in surgical office. So okay, okay. Mainly, <laughs> mainly from mainly from him only I got got to know that okay speed is also giving because initially very few coaching institute were giving training for gynae oncology. So everybody was going for medicine and surgery, surgery super yeah. specialization, but gynae onco very few coaching was available at our time. So, yeah. so so you you took and you went through the videos. 
uh, I was not able to complete the all, all of the videos. videos. It was uh, no, I was not able to complete. I was not able to because it was very vast. There are many videos. Uh, I tried mostly cover the recent ones though, the updated ones. I uh, went to the PPTs rather than uh, I used to go to the previous video would take long. So the part which I won't understand from the presentation that I used to go to the videos. Mainly I tried doing all the test series questions and all. They were very helpful. Test, test questions. All. The more you solve the MCQ, uh, you can uh, find out the flaws you have, the recalls, the questions asked in previous year, all analysis, the trials and all. Uh, mainly from um, that part was much more helpful to me. Doctor, can you tell us how many questions were asked from Gaina Konko and on for general, general OBG? Uh, general OBG by like 20, uh, 15 questions maximum from gynae and OBG by mainly from uh, gynae. They have all those uh, similar topics like from endometriosis, few questions from RPL, adenomyosis and all these are the few topics they always use, keep asking. Uh, pure OBG by question were like uh, 5 to 6, not much, not more than that. Rest all were from uh, gynae onco only. Uh, so there were a total 80 questions, like uh, mainly 60, 62 questions were from there of them. Like 15 questions were from repeat only. Repeat questions were 15. So I think we can, can't miss on recalls. You know, recalls are very important. At least uh, if they are not asking that uh, typical question, they are asking something related to that topic or same topic is being repeated. Aims, we can uh, Somehow we can predict the paper in AIMS. It neat as it becomes difficult to predict because it's vast. They are asking 150 questions. They are asking about all all the uh, input leading. They are asking about OBGY. They are asking about uh, cancers, but for you know, INISs, if they have a specific uh, favorite topics. They keep on asking those topics only. This is yeah, what I have I have realized actually. How many questions did you attend, Doctor? I attended seventy five. Great, Doctor. Can you tell us um, the interview part? Interview part was uh, mainly they will ask uh, they, on the day prior for gynae onco. They they give you a PPT in PPT and a detailed CV they ask for. In uh, PPT, they mentioned five, six topics, a heading like introduce yourself, why are you interested in your subspeciality, what are your achievements, any achievements like you are having any awards, you are having any, uh, you are presented anywhere or uh, anything like that. They ask you about the thesis topic and uh, any publication if you have. I didn't have any publication. So I was with very, I was like, okay, I'm off from the interview. I don't have any publications or no, but I think uh, maybe it's not that important. It's good if you have, definitely it will give you an extra edge. But uh, I didn't have any publication. Uh, so first they will ask you, introduce yourself. Suppose I was doing a bond posting. So they asked me, uh, which which hospital are you working in? Or what type of hospital it is, whether it's a secondary care or a tertiary care hospital. They, will, they are going to ask you. Uh, so in my fellowship, what OTs I have done, what surgical exposure I had. Mainly it's about your exposure and all. And then questions they ask me are two questions. on so basically recent advances on cervical cancer treatment they asked. And another question was like on cervical cancer only about that uh, types of radical hysterectomy and uh, the uh, choice uh, in which case you are going to which type of hysterectomy. And that's all. That's all they asked. It was like a six, seven minutes interview. Um, short one. Not much. Great. Doctor, what will be advice for a future aspirants of MCH Gynec Oncology? For uh, if I study hard, it's tough. It's definitely tough to get through. But it's doable if you study. And uh, with your guidance, uh, it's definitely, it makes the work easier. Study the guidelines well. Uh, do proper MCQs and uh, revisions. Revisions are must, no? Like try it. Try is to three times mid revision is minimum must. For me, I have done like four, three, four revisions. So quick revisions. At last, we need to go to quick revisions, right? Not lengthy revisions. Like within uh, seven days, you need to complete like two days, two days each for each oncology and just complete it. And for uh, INISs, we don't need to stress much on OBG, OBGY and gynae because very uh, small, very limited questions are asked. But for NEET SS, must, it must be, must be very difficult to cover all the part. But INISs, you have to mainly stress on oncology. And general gynae and OBGY, they ask basic questions. So... It is, it is not, not much, not much tough questions they ask. Main tough questions they ask on oncology only and the trials also. So trials is like for me, uh, trials, uh, you should be doing from uh, all the recent guidelines that give the phase three trials. Only the phase three trials, just know the recent trials. No need to go through all the trials. Just the recent trials would be sufficient enough. And the recalls, recalls are must, recalls are must.
great doctor time to thank and whom all you want to thank or made your career till date um revathi revath uh, first of all revathi ma and my parents my seniors and obviously my friends they have played a huge support system for me because i am not a fresher i have passed in 21 did a fellowship and again st- back to st- studying back was a bit difficult uh, my friends have those who are already into specialization they have uh, motivated me much because for gynae onko we have very limited amount of seat i always used to miss uh, neat ssi appear twice so once i got a rank of 101 22 then in 2023 again i gave i got a rank of 87 in it so uh, sticking to it was a bit difficult but uh, thanks to my friends and my parents and my relatives they have uh, given me a great support uh, through all these years great doctor very very good very very Thank precise you. very clear I have given a lot of inputs Thank for the students. The students who are watching it will be very, very pleased. Thank you. Thank Once you. Once again, sir. we wish you all the very best and all the success to have a great career. The most Thank passionate you, field that you are into of MCH Gynecology. Best wishes to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank sir. you.